Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Mean Girls. It's a movie starring Lindsay Lohan, one of only two good ones by her, Parent Trap in this one, as well as Rachel McAdams, you know, The Notebook, About Time, uh, the Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr., and Amanda Seyfried, who, you know, Dear John, and um, Red Riding Hood, and a bunch of other ones, so... It's awesome to see all those. Also, uh, Gretchen, who's played by the Penny from the mid-90s Lost in Space. So, um, above, along with a bunch of other like SNL actors, if you will. So, as always, I'm going to give it good, the bad, and the furry. To start with the furry, uh, I don't think there was any. So, this movie is classic. I'm going to start off, hopefully you tune in for the rest of the video, but two thumbs up. Excellent movie. Uh, this one is timeless. And like I said, it's one of the only two good movies by Lindsay Lohan. Say what you want about the rest of Lindsay Lohan's career. Yikes. <laughs> but Parent Trap was excellent, and this movie was excellent. I think it stands the test of time. It is still 100% enjoyable today, and it is just absolutely hilarious. I loved every minute of everything that happened on this screen. I can't think of a single bad thing to say about this movie, uh, because... All of the actors were fantastic. I especially loved Amanda Seyfried's character just because she's so dumb and ditzy. Like, but she knows it, and she like her character knows it, and she's just fine with it. She's just like, no, I'm dumb, and and I'm and like she was okay with that. And I and I thought that was really refreshing to have a character that's dumb in a not like asshole way, <laughs> like, but and, and be okay with it. You know, like I I kind of like how Kronk is kind of dumb. You know, he's a he's a himbo. She's sort of like that, but it, I don't know that Kronk ever would say he's not dumb, but he never, he's not like, no, I'm dumb and I'm okay with it. But like, you know, you get what I'm saying. She's, she's dumb and she goes with it. And Lindsay Lohan's character is just, she's likable and you can see the descent into, I'm going to call it the descent into madness of, of the high school life and how she goes from just, from how you see her in the beginning to like towards the, you know, the middle of the end part, you're just like, you saw the transformation, and you and they do a good job of not not overly heavy handing and not having to do like, you know, three months later type of thing, <laughs> but they do a good job of establishing the timeline. So it's not like an overnight like one week later and she's, you know, with the with the plastics or whatever. You see the progression and how the best of intentions can just lead you down to where you don't even recognize yourself anymore. And so, it's fantastic to see that, but in just the most comedic movie possible. And I even liked her love interest, um, some aspects of it. Obviously there's some very douchey things that he did and I don't and I don't agree with, but I did like how when he finds out the thing that he finds out towards the end and his reaction to it about her, I thought that was just like fantastic. I was just like, exactly, exactly. I'm glad that even this guy gets it. Like he he may not be the best of guys, but he does recognize that like yeah, he recognizes that. So I don't want to spoil it for you. In the event that you haven't seen this movie, which you should, because it's just that good. Um, and just every minute on screen of every character. And I like that every character has their own personality to it. You know, the principal has their own personality. How how the mom of the one of the plastics is just, like, clearly trying to relive her glory days or try to, like, you know, pretend that she's still in there. And then uh, the math teacher who... <laughs> is, you know, Tina Fey is always, is always a win. Um, so having those all in there, and then just the parents, uh, one, you know, one of them is the janitor from Scrubs, and just how he plays the dad is just, it's so good. It's, it's so good. Um, I, I loved just, just I, I, I can't even, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for how good this movie is, and every second that's on screen, and the fact that this movie is one of those movies that you can watch during Halloween, because there's a Halloween thing, and you can watch during Christmas time, because there's a Christmas time setting. So, uh, along with just, in general, anytime school is in session, or you want, like, a pick-me-up of a good fun time for some laughs, and some, you know, life lessons, and some just feel-good fun, um, this is it. This is the movie to watch. It's, it's fantastic, and it holds up. And I hope you've watched it. I hope you will watch it again. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.